The following operator training video on the Hobart Model A200 is a supplement to the instruction manual that came with your Hobart mixer. If you have any questions concerning operation, please consult your manual. Your Hobart mixer is constructed and designed to give long, satisfactory service, providing it is properly used and maintained. This training video will cover the controls, operation, cleaning, and maintenance of the A200 mixer. Warning, moving beater in bowl. Keep hands, clothing, and utensils out while in operation. Do not use without interlock guard. All models are furnished with an on-off toggle switch, which controls power to the mixer. The bowl guard must be in position, or the mixer will not operate. If the bowl support is not all the way up, the mixer will not operate unless the on-off switch is held in the up position. The timer, if equipped, is used in conjunction with the on-off switch for timed mixing operations and will stop the mixer when the desired time has elapsed. With the mixer set on hold, the mixer will run until the on-off switch is turned off. The gear shift lever is used to change speeds. Always stop the mixer before changing speeds. To change speeds, turn the switch off, move the gear shift lever to the desired speed, and turn the switch back on. Speed 1, or low, is for heavy mixtures such as bread dough, heavy batters, and potatoes. Speed 2, or medium, is for light dough, which must rise quickly, cake batters, and some whipping operations. Speed 3, or high, is a fast speed used for light work such as whipping cream, beating eggs, and mixing thin batters. The bowl lift handle is used to raise and lower the bowl. To raise the bowl, rotate the handle upward. Rotating the handle downward lowers the bowl. This section explains the operation of the Hobart mixer and how to install bowls, agitators, and attachments. A separate use and applications handbook is provided with the mixer and contains information on mixing procedures and outlines specific uses for agitators, attachments, and accessories. New mixer bowls and agitators, beaters, whips, and dough arms should be thoroughly washed with hot water and a mild soap solution, rinsed in either mild soda or vinegar solution, and thoroughly rinsed with clear water before being put into service. This cleaning procedure should also be followed for bowls and agitators before whipping egg whites or whole eggs. The bowls must be installed before the agitator. Install the bowl, fully lower the bowl support, position the bowl so the alignment bracket on the back of the bowl is in the bowl retainer and the alignment pins on the front of the bowl support fit in the holes on the sides of the bowl. Lock the bowl in place by rotating the bowl clamps over the ears of the bowl. For optimum performance and recipe consistency, use only genuine Hobart accessories with Hobart mixers. To install an agitator, the bowl must be installed and fully lowered. Place the agitator in the bowl, push it up and onto the agitator shaft and turn it clockwise to seat the shaft pin in the slot of the agitator shaft. To raise the bowl while the agitator is mixing the product, when required by recipe, or when using the bowl scraper attachment, load ingredients, close wire cage assembly, and select low speed. To begin mixing, hold the on-off switch in the up position, then raise the bowl. The attachment hub should not be used while mixing. To install an attachment, loosen the thumb screw on the attachment hub and remove the plug. Insert the attachment into the attachment hub, making certain that the square shank of the attachment is in the square driver of the mixer. Secure the attachment by tightening the thumb screw. Move the gear shift to the desired speed and start the mixer to operate the attachment. The meat and food chopper attachment should be operated in the second or third speed. If material in the cylinder stalls the mixer, stop the mixer at once. Do not attempt to restart the mixer in a lower speed. 
Remove the adjusting ring, knife, plate, and worm, and clear the obstruction. This attachment must not be used to chop breadcrumbs. The mixer bowl scraper attachment, when ordered, is provided with a separate instruction manual covering its installation, operation, use, and care. The wire cage assembly on the bowl guard can be rotated out of the way to add ingredients or access the bowl and agitator. To rotate the wire cage assembly to the rear, rotate the wire cage assembly to the left until it is positioned underneath the splice guard. Note how the grooves on the nylon retainers allow the wire cage to ride around the circular ridge of the planetary drip cup. The wire cage must be returned to the front and center position for the mixer to operate. To remove the wire cage assembly for cleaning, lower the bowl. Rotate the wire cage assembly to the left until it is positioned underneath the splash guard. Remove both the agitator and bowl. While holding the wire cage assembly with both hands, rotate it completely to the left. When the front center retainer reaches the end of its travel, it can be lowered through the flat on the ridge of the drip cup. After lowering the front center retainer, move the wire cage assembly slightly to the rear so the rear retainers clear the ridge on the drip cup. The wire cage assembly can now be lowered and removed. Wash the wire cage in a sink or dishwasher, rinse with clear water, and dry with a clean cloth. The stainless steel splash guard can be wiped off or washed easily with a cloth or sponge and warm soapy water. Rinse with clear water and dry with a clean cloth. To reinstall the wire cage assembly, hold the wire cage so its top ring is positioned around the planetary drip cup with the grooves in both nylon rear retainers straddling the ridge on the drip cup at the rear. Lift the wire cage assembly so the front center retainer passes up through the flat on the ridge of the drip cup and rotate the wire cage assembly to the right. The wire cage is properly assembled when all three retainers straddle the ridge on the drip cup in the three opposed locations. Rotate the wire cage assembly to the right until it stops at the front center position. Rotate the wire cage out of the way to install or remove the agitator and bowl or to add ingredients. Return the wire cage to its front center position to operate the mixer. Warning, unplug the machine power cord before beginning any cleaning procedure. The mixer should be thoroughly cleaned daily. Bowls and agitators should be removed from the mixer and cleaned in a sink. Do not use a hose to clean the mixer. It should be washed with a clean, damp cloth. The apron may be removed by loosening the thumb screws. The drip cup splice guard, which is secured by three screws, should be removed periodically and wiped clean. For cleaning the bowl guard, including both the wire cage assembly and splice guard, refer to the wire cage disassembly procedures demonstrated earlier in this program. Warning, unplug the machine power cord before beginning any maintenance procedure. Bowl clamps should be lubricated twice a year. The motor has sealed ball bearings which require no lubrication maintenance. The bowl lift slideway should be lubricated once each month. Remove the apron secured by the two thumb screws to expose the slideways. Then apply a light coat of lubriplate 630AA supplied to three sides of both slideways. Replace the apron and thumb screws. This concludes operator training on the A200 mixer. For further assistance, contact your local Hobart service office.